Orville who buried the crowbar in the crypt, not the Leon burglar. Don't you see? It was Orville who buried the crowbar in the crypt, not the Leon burglar. What's a Leon burger? It's a big dog. Did you guys leave a window open when you recorded this? You got a problem with that? I'm doing a murder mystery, only there's too much wind noise. So we have to redo a key line. But this isn't about Leon burgers or murder mysteries. It's about signals and computers that learn. But you knew that from the title. Just for fun, read it completely flat. Don't you see? It was Orville who buried the crowbar in the crypt, not the Leon burger. Brian King was an intern when he helped develop this automatic dialogue replacement program that fixes the wind problem and my purposely crummy read beautifully. Brian's software will make my voice match the original read exactly. Normally this would take you an hour to match and it still wouldn't be very good. I heard that. Car scene, take one. And action. Don't you see? It was Orville who buried the crowbar in the crypt, not the Leon burger. Very impressive. So what role does signal processing and machine learning play in this program? So it's, it's really a two-step process. With the signal processing part, we're taking these audio signals, so your speech, and analyzing it in such a way that we can figure out the important parts of the signal. And then the machine learning part is aligning those features kind of every step in time. The coolest thing is being able to do things that have previously been impossible to do and no one's been able to do before. It's a little bit like magic. Brian told me about another application of signal processing and machine learning where instead of using sound waves, they're using brain waves. Xin Zhang is trying to tell the computer to move this arm brace using his thoughts. What are you thinking about to make the arm move? Just grasping my hand. Grasping your hand yeah. and that allows it to bend. Yeah. Yes. He doesn't have to grasp his hand, he just thinks about doing it. There! That's not him moving his arm. That's the arm brace receiving his brain signal from the computer. Xin Yi Yang heads up this brain-computer interface project. Why do you choose to use the action of grasping to move the arm? Studies have shown that if you imagine a hand movement, it will create some very distinct changes in the EEG signals. And how does signal processing play into this whole thing? First, we can use signal processing methods to analyze the signals, to look for specific patterns that occur when you perform a movement. Another very important application is to remove noise from, from the brain signals. The third one is to extract important information from the brain signals. The machine learning will try to distinguish different brain patterns. It will be able to distinguish whether the person is imagining a movement or he is resting. We can use this technology to help people with uh, limited mobility uh, to operate certain devices, for example, a prosthetic hand or a wheelchair or a computer. If you can't use the keyboard, you can use uh, this technology by using your brain signals. There's another recent development that couldn't exist without signal processing and machine learning. What do you do for fun? ¿Qué haces para divertirte? <laughs> Lee Dang and the team at Microsoft came up with this translator. With this, he spoke with me in his native Mandarin. What's been the biggest challenge in creating the Skype translator? The the biggest challenge is to achieve high precision speech recognition and machine translation. Speech recognition is a key signal processing problem. Machine learning has been applied to speech recognition. Accuracy is greatly improved. Where in the world do you wish to travel? ¿A dónde en el mundo te gustaría viajar? A Russia. To Russia. Y tú? And you? Everywhere. <laughs> In this translator and our other two examples, 
signal processing algorithms processes and extracts information from data, while machine learning algorithms recognize patterns and make recommendations. Signal processing is prevalent in thousands of humanities tools, like cellular communications, financial markets, aviation, radar, medical imaging, robotics, and digital videos. Machine learning is prevalent in a large number of prediction problems, like weather forecasting, games, search engines, traffic patterns, social networks, and recommending movies you'd like to watch or books you'd like to read. Everything in the universe can be described as a signal in the form of a wave. Vibrating stars, vibrating quarks, even vibrating Leon burgers. 